The glow is a soup of superheated ions howling around the hollow donut-shaped reactor. Then the moment of fusion happens and ends just seconds later. If it looks a bit like science fiction, that's because until recently it was. No one has captured this much energy for this long from fusion. This is a quest. It matters so much to find a sustainable form of energy for, for the planet. And over the last few years, we've had a bunch of hurdles, challenges that we've had to overcome. The, the results today show that we can do that and we can overcome all those hurdles, those challenges. That's why it's so important to us. Fusion's potential is huge. It's the process that powers our sun. Its fuel is in limitless supply. And unlike nuclear fission that runs conventional nuclear plants, there's no long-lived waste. With nuclear fission, atoms of radioactive metal split, releasing energy in the form of heat. In nuclear fusion, two different forms of hydrogen fuse together, making helium. But fusion releases four times more energy than nuclear fission. This is the engineering model of the inside of the jet machine. The temperature needed to make fusion happen is 10 times hotter than the sun, 150 million degrees. So when this thing is running, it's the hottest thing in the solar system. So nuclear fusion does have the potential to transform civilization, but the practical realities of making it happen here on Earth are enormous. Here at JET, for example, they must use more energy to achieve fusion than they get from it. But it's proven the science and is developing the tools like precision robotic handling needed for the next fusion machine, nearing completion in the south of France. The ITER machine, say fusion scientists, is the final step before a commercial reactor. Only commitment stands in the way. We have shown them that this can work from an engineering point of view, from a physics point of view. The challenge is there. They cannot hide. But we've shown them that this is possible. Now, take it up and take it seriously. The truth remains, fusion power won't be with us for decades. Too late for the current climate crisis. But given a fusion reactor makes four million times more energy per gram of fuel than coal, oil or gas, its potential to create a brighter future is just too great to ignore. Tom Clark, Sky News, Oxfordshire.